This one you've got to see. Democrats really let these Republicans have it this time. Cory Booker and Dick Durbin taught Tommy Torville and Josh Hawley a lesson, folks. You got to listen to this one because everybody tries to make an issue out of defund the police, defund the police, not understanding what it really means. But guess what? What we did was turn the turn. What they did was turn the tables on demagoguing Republicans. Check this out, and then we'll take it on the other side. I call on my colleagues to support our law enforcement by voting yes for this amendment. Opposing my amendment is a vote in support of defunding the police and against the men and women in blue. The gentleman's time has expired. <laughs> Madam President. Senator I, from New Jersey. I am so excited. This is perhaps the highlight of this long and painful and torturous night. This is a gift. If it wasn't complete abdication of Senate procedures and, and, and esteem, I would walk over there and hug my colleague from Alabama. And I will tell you right now, thank God, because there's some people who have said that they're members of this deliberative body that want to defund the police, to my horror. And now this senator has given us the gift that finally, once and for all, we can put to bed this scurrilous accusation that somebody in this great esteemed body would want to defund the police. So let all of us, a hundred people, not walk, but sashay down there and vote for this amendment and put to rest the lies. And I am sure I will see no political ads attacking anybody here over defund the police. And I would ask unanimous consent to add something else to this obvious bill. Can we add also that every senator here wants to defund the police, believes in God, country, and apple pie? Friends across the aisle said they don't want to defund the police. That's outstanding. Let's go a step farther. Let's fund them. Let's put 100,000 new cops on the streets right now to protect our families, to protect our children. I urge a yes vote on this amendment, and I ask for the yeas and nays. This has been a historic day in the United States Senate. We started by passing a, bi a bipartisan infrastructure bill that made history. And now the senator from Missouri is finally coming around to supporting the cops hiring program that was created by Senator Joe Biden in 1994. We sent a letter to the Appropriations Committee signed by 37 Democrats for the cops program. Do you know how many Republicans signed the letter? None. But with your amendment tonight, clearly you've come around. The Republicans are joining the Democrats and supporting Joe Biden's COPS program. You are right. You know, it is amazing that these guys never do their homework. But what's more amazing is for how long we have allowed them to get away with it. They have never had the upper hand, but we have just acquiesced to them. We have a tendency to believe, well, people will know that they are just demagoguing. Well, you know what? People don't know. We have to assert it. And what we saw uh, Curry Booker do, what we saw Dick Durbin do, that is what we have to do over and over again. Let America see how things really are. Great job, guys. Great job, Cory Booker. Great job, Senator Dick Durbin. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.